Hey, what is up guys? JP Land here and welcome back to another video. Today we're back here at Universal Studios Hollywood, the entertainment capital of LA, to check out all of the latest updates. So let's get rolling. All right, so just walked into the park. It was actually so easy to get in today. Uh, no lines at all at security, no lines at the front gate, and the theme park is actually not sold out today. So uh, that's very surprising for a Saturday in the middle of the summer. No idea actually what's going on with the theme park right now. Cer certain days are like completely sold out, but it's not as busy as it is today, and today isn't sold out. So no idea if that makes sense or not, but uh, Gabby the cabbie is out here because New York Street is currently under construction. Yeah, like take a look at these wait times. The highest wait time is 160 minutes and I would say the average wait time is about maybe 70 minutes, maybe a little more. Um, but it's not sold out in the theme park today. I was here a few days ago. The theme park was completely sold out, but it was dead. There was hardly anyone in the theme park. Here's the current look onto New York Street. They have uh, most of the facade covered up in scaffolding right now. There are strong rumors that they're gonna build a little cafe here. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen, but it would be a nice little addition. They used to have a little candy store at first and uh, they removed that. So it would make sense to make a little cafe over here. Mr. JM or John Murdy has officially confirmed that the fire towers are coming back in uh, New York Street, but he did say it's gonna be a little difficult because of the current construction. So we might see it in uh, late August, I'd say. When I'm really, oh my gosh, look at King Julian. Sell the balloons, sell the balloons, King Julian. <laughs> that was funny. I'm really hoping that they add a lot more scare zone props this year. Uh, the past few years have been lacking scare zone props over here at Universal, so we'll see what they do. Now I'm very convinced that Universal watches my videos. In my last video, I said that they should add more seating areas around the plaza because there isn't a lot of uh, room to sit Are down. Hey, hey. I'm now very convinced that Universal watches the videos because in my last video, I was having a hard time finding uh, where to sit in Universal. And now they just added a ton of seating over here in the plaza with shade, which is wonderful. But yes, going back to Horror Nights, um, they definitely need to add more atmosphere around the theme park, especially for Halloween Horror Nights. Last year we had like no scare zone props, no fog. This year I'm really hoping that they do a little bit better in scare zones. Uh, what I was thinking what they could do is if there are too many graphic images to show during the daytime, what they could do is put little walls with wheels on the bottom and they could just move the walls away uh, when Horror Nights starts. I think that's a pretty good idea but uh, we'll see what they do this year. They set up some walls over here. I'm assuming this is for an event they're gonna be holding in the plaza, nothing theme park related. I'm so happy they're listening to me. They already added dead vines all over this facade over here. Uh, looks like we have a dead tree and they're gonna do something similar to La Llorona where they extend the facade just a little bit outward. They add like fake grass, maybe some tombstones and stuff. Uh, we'll see what they do, but I'm excited to see this facade. I absolutely love this weather. Perfect weather to go in the splash zone over here. Looking at animal actors and special effects now. Animal actors and Production Central are completely gone. That's like the last remainder of rubble. There's, uh, they're still flattening all of this out, but I think they're going to start work on the coaster within the next, uh, I would say, two months at this point. Once they finish up uh, special effects, that's when we'll start seeing some coaster work. But it is looking quite remarkable. It's, it's crazy how fast they're working, though. That, that's crazy to me. We're gonna see a lot of aggressive coaster work within the next two months. I'm so excited. This is really gonna be my first time covering a roller coaster being built from the ground up. I did a little bit of coverage at Six Flags when they started building Wonder Woman, but it was like already midway through construction. This is gonna be my first time covering a coaster from the ground up. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this summer is moving way too fast. It's already almost the end of June. How is that possible? I think it might be the weather, like it was raining, or it was like raining kind of, but it was super cloudy throughout uh, most of June and now it's starting to get warmer. 
But um, yeah, summer is moving by a little too fast. I'm not complaining too much because Horror Nights is right around the corner, but I would still like to enjoy my summer just a bit. Again, just a crazy view seeing this area empty. Universal is changing. It's changing, all right. Gonna head into Wizarding World to see if they still have the dark arts decorations up. Yeah, they left all of the Death Theater slash dark arts decorations up. I wonder if they're just gonna leave this through Horror Nights or maybe, just maybe, for a past member event. Um, I don't know, it's already like halfway through summer, so I don't know if they'll bring the Death Eaters anytime soon, but it would be nice. It looks like they did remove some of the electrical stuff, like there used to be a speaker under this, there's no more uh, speaker inside of this little barrel. I don't know, I still have hope. I don't know if they'll ever do it again, but it would be nice. It would be really nice to have it for daytime guests. Yeah, I have no idea how the theme park is not sold out right now. There are people everywhere. The lines are crazy long. Like, look at the crowds in the Simpsons area right now. This is around 2 p.m. There's a lot of people. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard to see Bart and Homer go. I love the Simpsons area, but the Simpsons ride needs to go. I wish there was a way to just leave the land and remove the ride and replace it with something else. We still have no form of work on special effects uh, from this view over here. I am wondering if they're going to leave the Universal City sign up though because uh, this is like history. This is part of Universal and uh, when you're outside of Universal you could see this sign very well, especially when it's lit up. Like honestly I can't really see Coaster Track going on this little hill over here so that might give them a, an opportunity to um, keep that sign and preserve it. They obviously also have the option of moving it elsewhere. There are many changes since the last time we were here for The Last of Us Haunted House. They are working on the facade right now. Not sure what it could be. Um, shout out to HHN and stuff uh, because uh, they said that it might be the Boston Quarantine Center. But my biggest question is what's going on on the other side of this facade, the side we can't really see towards the right. Uh, they are adding this like weird blue design. They might repaint it later on. I just can't really make out what's going on over here. Could try our best on getting a view on what's on the right side or the side that's not very visible from that other spot for the Last of Us maze. It looks like they're building like a little booth. I have no idea what this could be. The lower lot looks insane right now. There are so many people that are down there. It just looks like a bunch of ants. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go, go down to the lower lot at this point. It does uh, seem like the perfect weather to get on Jurassic World, but I don't know. There's just so many people down there. We have a ton of balloons over here, but they brought in new types of balloons. Oh boy. <laughs> over here. They have a bunch of like little pets. That's funny. I love these so much. You could walk them around and stuff, but uh, I think they're all the same price. They're all $19 for a balloon and your annual pass discount doesn't apply to them. The mobile ordering system clearly hasn't been perfected yet. I tried ordering a drink over at the Hollywood and Dine and I still can't add my payment method to the app. So I don't know. Uh, I'll probably give it like another month and if it doesn't work in a month, I probably just won't use it. Alrighty, I just grabbed the new peachy punch drink over at the Hollywood and Dine restaurant. It's filled with peach puree, lime and pineapple juice, grenadine Sprite with a marshmallow and red sugar rim, topped with a peach popping boba pearls and a gummy peach ring. Um, based on the looks of it, I don't see any uh, red sugar rim. Uh, I think they might have run out, but it's okay. Uh, we're just gonna go for it. Whoa.
It's good. It's good. Very sour. But it is good. I do wish they had the red sugar rim though. I feel like that would have added so much to the presentation. But it tastes really good. Um, my only concern with this drink is it's $12. So I don't know if I would recommend this. It is really good though. Like skip out on ice cream, go for this instead. It's like it's like the peach drink down at the lower lot, but like 10 times better. It's so good. Over in feature presentation, it looks like they did just restock most of these hats, but they are going very fast, as you can see. Both sides are missing Mario hat. I actually know this side has a Mario hat, but things are selling out pretty fast, so I'd highly recommend coming to Universal as soon as possible. They're also slowly restocking uh, some of the plushy toys over here. They brought back like Chef Toad, Little Mario, Goomba, Bowser, and then these larger Yoshi figures, which are 40 bucks. So they did drop the price a little bit because originally it was 60. And they still have a ton of that Villain Con merchandise over here in the main Universal store. Tons of water bottles, backpacks, and t-shirts. They also have these really neat bags over here. Yeah, it's definitely really interesting that we're getting villain con merchandise over here in hollywood i could easily see them bringing this to universal oh my gosh i just noticed this is a universal studios lounge flight this is their first time collaborating with universal like i've never seen universal studios on a lounge fly bag this is wild this is really wild to me they have another one over here as well oh my goodness this is big but yeah, I could easily see Villain Con coming to the park, probably where uh, Walking Dead used to be. I feel like this is a sign. They brought back the Death Eater plushies. I love these so much. I have a few of them at home. They still do have a ton of Last of Us merchandise over here in the Universal store. They did sell out of the mugs and they've been selling out of the t-shirts, but they've been restocking them pretty fast. Mugs are gone right now. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll come back later on this month, but for now they're gone and they still have a ton of Chucky merch. I love these lunch boxes, but these aren't uh, used to promote the maze. I mean, they're used to promote the maze, but they're not for the maze itself. This isn't the artwork we're gonna see for the maze. In fact, the maze is gonna be based on the TV show on Sci-Fi, and this is just based on the original uh, Child's Play movies. Even in the beginning of like 2021, we had uh, all of this merchandise, so. They just set it up over here on the Horror Nights carts because Chucky is coming this year, but again, this isn't new merchandise. And that will ultimately wrap up our day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I had a blast taking a look at everything new inside of the theme park. It is really warm now and I need a haircut because my hair is wild and today I couldn't brush it. When do you ever see me wearing a hat? Um, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. I'm JP and how they see in the movies. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next one.